We who depend on wildlife for food and traditions are feeling the effects on climate change when the animals go on the move. For the wildlife, you know, <clears throat> we never used to see all those animals that you're seeing now. Like, you know, the, the wolves are coming closer to the houses and, and all those animals that we never used to see, they used to stay back in the, deep in the woods, but now there's no woods for them anymore, so they're all coming closer to the people's homes and everything. Springtime comes around and you start seeing different kind of birds, you know, uh, barn owls, that sort of thing. We don't, we've never seen them like that. Getting different kind of geese, ducks, you know, mallard ducks, and pink tails that we never used to see around here. Getting to be more swans, you know, it's very unusual. Notice that the storms are not as coming aren't coming as often as they they used to. They're coming. They're more fierce now. Like the Inuit people, the polar bears depend on seal, not walrus. Walrus is a dangerous, unnatural prey. The climate is changing, the earth is changing, it is getting hotter. People are burning oil, gas, and coal, which releases a gas that acts like a blanket. This is called the greenhouse effect. The polar ice caps are getting smaller, stranding the animals and people who depend on the ice. Similar effects are felt here at El Seal. We used to have a lot of berries that were close to the road too, and now there's hardly any. Can't find any. Have you noticed anything different about wildlife and foods that are hunted? Yes, I have noticed some things. Um, there's old stories of how those plants and those animals moved as the food moves, um, and there's reasons for that. And in the last few years, couple decades or so there's been a lot of changes happening and things are moving north with as the climate's changing. If the climate keeps changing, Indian people will have to change. The diets will be different. The customs will be different. Ojibwe nation and the Ojibwe people don't have the luxury of time to adapt physically and biologically to, to that kind of, uh, of, of change. Will the rice leave? Will Ojibwe people have to move with the rice once again? What can we do? We will have to adapt or risk losing the resources that are important to the Ojibwe people. What can I do? 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 We'll have to walk more. We'll have to take care of the rice. We'll have to take care of the fish. When we take care of ourselves, we take care of our people and the earth. What can I do? 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 What can I do?
shirt. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. What can I do? Just light at the camera. One, two, three. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do?